We are counting down the days to the November election. It is just a couple days away. Up to this point, there have been a lot of emotions, accusations, in some cases, loss of friendships over this year's presidential candidates. What, however, can be done in a positive force in these final days? Pro-life advocate Dr. Alveda King and Pastor Michael Anthony, founder of GodFactor.com, are encouraging you to participate in the National Week of Repentance, which is being observed this week, October 30th through November 6th. Pastor Anthony says America needs a bath. Fear, hatred, moral decline, racism, financial instability, a leadership void. All of these are symptoms of a deeper problem, our spiritual dryness. Now, the idea of the National Week of Repentance comes from 2 Chronicles 7, 13 through 14, which says, If my people, who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. It's free to take part in the National Week of Repentance. Live stream video messages are taking place at www.revivalmatters.com. If you are not able to participate via the website, we encourage you to deliberately keep America in your prayers this week. Second Chronicles 7, 13 and 14 includes a key word, if, if my people will humble themselves, pray and seek God's face. God makes many promises in the Bible, but also required action on our parts. And in these final days before election day, November 8th, when our next president is decided, daily commit our country to the Lord, specifically that the people in this country would desire to do exactly what Second Chronicles is asking us to do. Again, that website, www.revivalmatters.com. This week is the National Week of Repentance.